Yep. All right. Okay, so this is uh, Divine Nation and the Constitution of Legal Crossing, um, session number 11, I believe, mm -hmm. of the Constitution of Divine Nation. And what constitution is, again, is a vibration of causing to stand, which is kum, kumran. Um, anything of integration of assembly um, to connect us again, uh, assembly God, some assembly required. And I want to connect it to what we shared with last week about um, uh, the Gaul Hagen Desh, um, the great fish. Um, and so we have this great order. And I believe that, again, I'm not, we shared on your session about potentially what's happening in, in the month of March. There's a window of, of, of 20 to the 27th, seven days. Um, I'm not saying I don't know what's happening other than what I'm seeing as a potential. All I know that March, by definition, is nobility. Well, through the astrological sign, it's just an imitation as a possibility. It's a possibility. Like so those again, energies are going to be made available. So, so again, possibility is a language to me that something has to be resolved to make it possible. So the possibility can fit it as a law. It's a real language to me. And so I don't know. I'm not saying anything. I'm not date setting. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is there's many things going on right now, and this is going to be a loaded one hour. Um, where we left off last week was talking about Kardesh Barnea, Kardesh Barnua. And, and, and so I want to just talk about this language of, and I'm going to erase this right now, but this is what we kind of left with last week. Uh, the great fish is as being seaworthy as it sings up and down the sweet scales of bitter mermaidian song that's that's the god that's the, that's our our vibration of dna uh, and when we know this great measure that's coming in it's more of the nothing that's coming into the everything us in the material world you said something and we were kind of talking about the hippocampus and what the hippocampus is as dag as noon as progeny as perpetuity connecting it to dagon to dagon right. it's all the same right. vibration so we're going to be all over trying and i've kind of titled this one raising your dragon raising your fish um and so we're going to get into a language here but you said something before we even started this meeting about you had a a quick little talk with an individual that said the gentile and the jew are now joined right mm -hmm. um well we can connect that to kodesh barno directly connect doing it to the language of Kardesh Barnua last week, we established it as the wave offering. It means the holy wandering. And in that vibration of Gentile to Jew, that is the wave offering. And so it's the language of the wave offering is the praise of the sea. Right? And so in this Judah Gentile... Interesting. I know. Let me finish. So all of us have the ability to be found in the sea as the wave offering to fulfill the covenant of praise. That is one that is in covenant, that finds the covenant to become the wave offering as praise, Yehuda. The Gentile is out of covenant until it realizes I'm a founder of the sea. And when I become the sea established, I am now the wave offering in that I'm a praised one. I am Yehuda. So the covenant coming from the Katabah, Mm -hmm. The writings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, the Gentile to the Jew, the wave offering. And that's us offering ourselves in obedience to what the wave is as holy wandering to fulfill um, as the Kodeshim, the Kodesh Kodeshim, as the wave is the wave, I am holy as I am holy kind of language. And so now into we... Into the holy of the holies. Into the holy of holies. And right. now you... Kodesh Kodeshim. Kodesh Kodeshim. And so... Um, this language of, and it's all over um, Omnuel, right? We've already said that before. We cannot miss this because this is a people, but it, it more, Om is more of a vibration of assembly. God, some assembly required, Ayin Mem. So the assembly is where we get the word Knesset from, which is the parliament of Israel. It's the government, which is, it means to stand. And so again, constitution to stand. So, so the Knesset, is really Om, a people that choose to come into the assembly of God by building it. I'm no longer out of covenant with myself because I've met myself by my terms. I'm established as new, which means the bond of everything and nothing. And by definition, you are the bond holder that is 
given the title, it's your DNA, your title is in you, and it's the title of absolute. So you are the holder of the bond. You have to fulfill the bond's deed to fulfill the title. That's Gentile to Jew. That's, that's a wanderer to become the praise offering. And the language of Omnuel, the language of an assembly of a people, I've assembled myself as a constitution, as a constituent of governments. I now form the law of new, everything and nothing, new and vav. The everything is everything of material world in time, and the nothing is the space that is beyond time. It's the nothing and the everything coming into agreement to become the sanctioned, the sacred wave offering again, Kodesh, Kodeshim. That is Gentile and Jew. In, from the Kodesh Barnua. From Kodesh Barnua. From the Holy Wandering. The Holy Wandering, yeah. which is the wave offering of Passover. Right. right. I, I have legally crossed over. Or from from first fruits. First fruits. Right. It's, it's right. actually it's all it's all harvest. Right. It's anything to do with Lulav. Right. Is now I've developed the heart. My heart and my head have crossed over. My right and my left. Um, Ephraim and Manasseh, I am no longer forgetting because I'm remembered and membered is called a body. Well, the body is the same word for Knesset, a government. Right. I am the government. I am the body. I am the Knesset and Knesset roots down to really stand or a cause to stand. I am the constitution. I have been constituted. I am Israel. I have joined. I have joined. Yeah. So everyone. To those who are the upright as God. Yeah. Who overcame right so even if there's jews in the land that have not fulfilled the covenant and they are a wanderer still there are people that are right. called jews that they're only given the name as a vibration but doesn't mean that they are oh, because they haven't done the walk they have not done the holy wandering yet right because that right, was right, given right. at the mountain sinai that going because the mountain of crossing or kurdesh Bernia was the place to test them in their trust mm. Do you trust yourself? And they failed in the lesser narrative, but now we're giving the exact same thing where we are right now is to see, do you trust yourself? Yes, you do. Question is, are you? Right. Not the do you, are you? Right. Are you trust? So yeah. that's what I wanted to, to connect with what you initiated, because that directly connects what we're saying. The Gentile has now fulfilled the wave offering. He's now called the praise offering. Yahuda. Yahuda. Yahudim. Right. The, the praised ones. The praised ones of the im, the sea. Right. Can I can I just interject something really quickly? I got a lot to share. So if, is it, if it's on topic. It is absolutely on topic. I had the giggles. I almost started giggling again because in your opening when you were talking about a people, right? You were talking about a people. Mm -hmm. This is particle. Yes. Right? Moving into. Wave. Wave. Yes. Yes. which is nation yes sovereign nation divine nation yes absolutely so when we move when we are less dense and we have more white fire that's what we're moving so yes. the whole i mean everything and nothing. nothing i know i know but i i just wanted to draw attention to that because i had a little champagne moment a little blurb go off on me and i was so excited yeah. that you shared that like my eyes are yeah. welling up with tears well, right now yeah. because of the power of what this is saying yes yes this is yeah this is this is really connected to emmanuel yes like god with us but it's, it's more than that god is within you exactly. and it's called the bond of the covenant right is a is in you in a material form that's seeking the spiritual Which destination is the, the resolve so this is the spiritual gravity that pulls us into if i was to write this another way that this would be up here if i was to go back to the courtroom setting this is more a testimonial witness while in material matter so here would be the bar there's the bar and then the arm would be up here right because now you've gone into the judge magistrate's position where you're now the praise offering you're balanced and equated as now the gift right and we're gonna yes so when you were saying the wave offering i was giggling as well because of the play on words of the waves of yes. the sea yes. as being the praise yes anyway i'm, I'm talking just... yeah i'm as i'm talking i'm talking material spiritual material right. spirit, mother father mother father reciprocity back and forth reciprocity back and forth. i'm wrestling at to, light speed right I'm moving, yeah. so yeah so you I get it the, the spirit has always worked that way with me to move everything if it sounds like broccoli then it means this right they pull alex you know that's and that's a I do know private story. story but it doesn't mean what we think so we we can't limit or we can limit ourselves but the 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 the, the ether realm is magical and you have to take that 
construct of material and translate it well because the, it's wanting us to get in that childlike right, state right get us out of our sophistries right. so yeah. that's that's a topic in its own due to gentile about the wave offering but that's crossing the celestial sea the only way you can do that is by drawing yourself out right. point, point of case hence the word moshe either moshe is the is the means of inculcation that draws out the celestial sea of revelation Moshe is a vibrational word that's seeking a covenantal exchange that through reciprocity as a lawgiver to exchange the law. He was the lawgiver. The right. law of what? The law of the celestial sea is called the name. Or the covenant of light. The covenant of light. It's in you. You have to know Moshe yourself to draw yourself out. The second exodus, right. Shemot. Death. So draw out the Shekinah. Draw out death from you. You'll find yeah. life in the death. Right. But you die. The ego must die. Right. But the ego is not bad. The ego is only a propulsion. It's a propeller to the vessel. Right. When done correctly, right? right. The ego. Like it's a good servant, it's but not a, good, a great master. It's not a good master, right? <laughs> so if if it's in the stern, then it drives the bow, right. putting the headship and tailship in right measure. I break right. off the tail and I realign the head. Right. Right. Totally get it. Okay, so Love that, it. And that's tanin. Right. That, that is that is it's a great segue. Because this in now in the paleo language, this is the constitution for lineage's line. This is the celestial crossing that makes inheritance, but that's the fish hook. Right. You have to draw yourself out, Joe. Who can draw out the constitution of the great whale, the great origin? But this isn't who can draw out one who's already constituted that it have gathered themselves. Right. <laughs> So this is the great fish, is when the noon, the progeny, or perpetuity, right. Leolam Vayed, forever and ever is in you. Right. You have to find it to draw yourself out to the greater resolve of constitution to know that God has to be assembled. Unassembled God is in the lesser construct. And well, then that would be immaturity. Well, it's immaturity, but <clears throat> I, I have to state this first. But let's just read this and we'll raise this because yeah, this, this is the word for tan, which is where we get dragon, serpent, but it also means whale, the great fish. Right. This is what's coming in right now, so I need to break this down. But this is the succession to lineage's line, which is enthronement. Right. Right? This is now the fish hook, the dag, which is now in me, the great whale, the great uh, leviathan, which means I've joined with myself to become tan. So I can become the gift. I'm the gift, which the gift is the word of generosity, which generosity means nobility. Nobility. Right. So from my deposition, I'm no longer in the deposition. By my rising, by raising my dragon out of myself, by hooking myself in my own jaw, I now speak of the reverence of of restitution, of reciprocity, of revelation. I draw it out of myself right. to know that I've legally crossed the celestial sea. Through Kadesh Barnoa, I am now a people. I am now one assembled as a many, as a multitude. Right. Right? That are one. Right. And in this measure, I am Kodesh Barnoa. I am everything and nothing as Emmanuel. I am now God assembled. Right. So in that deposition, the deposition being dethroned, mm -hmm. right? When we entered in and that whole thing occurred, we were already beheaded. Yes, we've already, yeah. No, I'm just like now dot connecting. I got the giggles again because there's like this whole process of being, you know, oh my God, we're beheaded and all yes. that, right? Yes. But we already have. We, are, we came so, in. We came in dethroned. It, all it means is you are in the position of God. You're it's distanced like, from your nobility. It's like disgrace and grace. Right. Disgrace only means you're distanced from, from grace. grace. Kardash Barnua knows how to return back to the origin's intention to be called grace-filled. Right. Hence why the government shall be on the shoulders, yes. restoring the head. Yes. Okay. I need okay. to. So, I I just, so the constant. That's what all of this is. This is what all this is. I just wanted to put, because we're talking about raising your dragon, because what's coming in in this month is the vibration of noon progeny the vibration right. of the fish which i'm going to try to break it down it's many things but it's the language of uh, the nothing that is looking for the form of everything mm -hmm. so out of time space comes into time space so space time comes into time space the material and the spiritual are now leviathan they are intimately oh my woven. God. Joined to the dragon. Joined to the dragon. Right. The tannin. So Leviathan is coming in to say, I am what? 
I'm not a dragon. I'm a constitutional inheritance. That's so good. A perpetual, per, perpetual state of inheritance. Perpetual. Being given as the gift. A perpetual um, constitution, however yeah. way I want to go. Right. But this is the legal crossing that allows you to assimilate into the inheritance of progeny. Right. I'm mean, now the noon, noon vav noon, Yehoshua, the son of noon. Right. Which means I'm salvation. The only way that I can prove salvation, I need to say this decree, because it's the law of salvation, means I'm salvage. I'm the law of salvage of sea. Oh, that's good. So what is the law of transaction? It means something is lost at sea. So now we have to enact, and I do. Here's my claim. Because I would never go into any court setting without laying a claim. Otherwise, right. why are you there? Right. So here's my claim. And I, I state it as this. I is knowing the law of salvation. The law of salvage is the principle of maritime law whereby any person who helps recover another person's ship or cargo in peril at sea is entitled to a reward uh, um, conserated with the value of property saved. In order to claim a salvage reward, the salver must meet three requirements. This is all in law. Right? There must be, number one, a maritime peril, lost at sea. Number two, service voluntarily rendered. I have to volunteer to do this, the deed. And three, success in saving persons or property, me. In these three requirements, if these three requirements are met, the salver may present the owner of the salvage property with the claim for his her reward the gift so good so so that you can totally connect that to leviathan leviathan because i claim it is the gift i've already done it in the recording i've already claimed it but for anyone listening, this is where we are right now. So if you know your claim as the inheritance of the deep that has to be hooked from out of you as Moshe drawing out, as a Gentile to the praise, as Yehuda, Yahud, uh, um, Yahudim. So I am the, I was lost and now I am the founder. Found. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. Kardesh by Bernua, I have been trusted and I am the founder of the trust. So right? So right. now I'm in the position of Om, I'm a sovereign nation. Right. So lost and founder of the sea, as I am salvation of the sea and or salvage from being lost and or abandoned at sea, as this I enact and I claim the salvage right. So good. As my right is salvation, I am savior. <laughs> so good. It's Amen. all the same word. Amen. I, so that's so good so again it's a little early to drink but i'll take it yahushua the son of noon right salvation right only those that can salvage them and act the salvage right of lost at sea to find it i am now exchanging a life for a life that's the law right one life for one life hope right. you're getting that I'm totally only getting you that. can make one life for one life yeshua was teaching us the language, how to save ourselves. How to know that you're lost at sea and right. how to find yourself to come into the constitution of lineage of line right. as the progenitor, as the inheritor of legal constitution to draw yourself out. You are no longer lost because you enacted the right of salvation. You are called savior. I found myself. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> Ken, that is so, so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself. That was just, that is like a Haleva moment on well, that, steroids. We're gonna break this down a little bit because we need, because this is drawing out your dragon. You need to know. So, oh gosh, it's so good. Okay. So, again, you can be, there is no stammer in the declaration of a sovereign decree. The sovereign right. decree, as a foundation, you know that you're the founder. And as the founder, you are headship restored. And from that, the Admiral speaks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm admirable now, and in my constitution, I am now given the gift of inheritance. I am the dragon. I am the whale. <laughs> I am Amen. the Gesh Hagendal. 
I am the great dot. And from right. the cloud of a witness comes out of me as reciprocity. Fire comes out of my belly, belly and, out, comes of my and out of my mouth. <laughs> so fire and water come out. So you're speaking living water, but fire comes out of the belly. Make no mistake. Memacun. That is Shem. Memacun. Memacun as Shem. A fiery tornado that spouts out Fire water from water. the depth of my resolve. I am above and I below. I and they mean, cling to the Shemayim, the nothing, and the Retz, the earth, and everything in between. I am now the Vav. I'm the connecting rod that joins it all. <laughs> so good. Ken. Now, I'm saying that oh. personally, but, I, but you can still make that claim. Oh, man. But I can't make that claim for no, you. No. Right? Well, but the. But in the hearing, if the heart connects to it and one meditates upon this and really allows it to saturate in the soul level, not just from the mind, then the tuning fork resonates. Resonate. And this is where we get the word. Um, Fine what we're going into is the hippocampus is the language of the song or the mm -hmm. musician, but it's talking connected to, well, we'll get into that in a second. I want to confuse it, but it is talking about um, the mooses. Right. The muse, yeah. The muse, right? Because it means to think, but it means it's where we get music from. You right. become the song. The, 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 the sound. The whale song. Right. Right. You're right. very you're you're now tuned to the vibration of, of the of the the harmony of a whale song. But before we go there in the depth of your sounding. In the depth of your sound. Totally am connected. Right? This is totally all connecting. this is all oh within us. It's all the language. It's all hidden right there. We just have to connect it to know that there are salvage rights. There are salvage rights that mean salvation. So let's break that down because um I'm not even going to letters, but it's from Yod Shin Ayin. And so I love it when you unpack this stuff because I have no idea what you're gonna say, and in the moment you unpack it and it's like this beautiful gift. So, so good. So again, so salvation or to be salvaged by the right of um You're so patient with me. <laughs> um by the by the right of reward you're given um the root of salvation to deliver, to be free, right. why to be safe. You're now in safe harbor, right? Right. So let's break down salvage. Salvage by definition, it means payment. This is just etymology. Right. Payment for saving a ship from a wreck or capture. Um, it's from French, but means to save. So salvage. So you're saved, right? So let's connect it. I'm not making these words up. I have to no. make. So the general sense of the saving of property from danger. Being lost at sea is a danger, right? I'm a, I'm abandoned at sea when I came in. I have to know my origin of Rashid or Genesis, a means of noble birth. Oh my God. We're literally rescuing our straw man in order to collapse it because that's the copy. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm the origin. I am, I'm collapsing my own copy. That is so good. So we're gonna, oh my gosh! So man, I can't help it. So I, let me get into this. So you'll you'll get this language I here. I got champagne bubbles going so, off inside. So so in the general sense. So now we're talking. So we move from James. So you're collapsing the lesser narrative of all copies and all counterfeits, claiming I am the sovereign owner. Perfect. I am origin. I am Om. I am nation. I am Ayin Mam. I right. am the I. Right. As Ayin Vav Nun. I am the mighty eye that sees. I'm the mighty eye that sees. And, but I'm connected to the Aleph of noon. I am now the absolute connecting dimensions as progeny, right? So then we have oh, material, yeah. material, right? Oh, yeah. So the language of salvage, it means to save from danger, um, to save a shipwreck from flood and fire. Well, what's coming in as a flood? But the question is, are you out of harm's way? Only right return knows the way of right return. Right. If you're not in that legal standing, then you potentially could still be in harm's way, which means a lesser constitution. Right. You're still under it, and there's a sovereign oh sentencing God. over you That's because you, you don't know a, how to sovereignly sentence yourself. A title yes. wave. You're exactly will crest over you if you don't. And yes, it's a play on word. It, well, title it, wave, but title wave. This is the title. 
This so is, this gives you the ability to ride the waves on top. I've already seen this in a dream. When you're given the title, That's you are now you Kardash Barnua. And I was yep. taken from, I, I rode, I headed towards it. Yeah. And it took me into another state of being. Yes. And that was, and I had that dream about the waves coming in and seeing it ahead of time and paddling. And yep. I saw the people that didn't. I saw the ones that missed the waves. I saw the ones that got crashed over on the wave and I was able to ride and take it in. But it was only those that were prepared ahead of time that knew the wave was coming right. because they well, positioned it's themselves. Coming. It's coming. This is Oh my God, this, that's so good. These are the bow waves. It's coming in. It's already been coming in for like a while. It's like a dream 25 yeah. years okay. ago. Wow. So salve, um, the word for savior or salvage is salve. It, it's French word, but it means to save from lost at sea as a ship of goods now this is all manifesto right you have to know at the docket you have to know your docket of a two that's what we shared on your session about yeah. going from 2d which is a document going raising the olive pulling it out of ourselves so the olive is lifted into 3d 4d 5d 60 right. 70 80 and beyond which is the correct or the definition of no longer um subject right i now object Right. I object. I am the object heading towards myself. I object. I am object. But in a court of law, I object. Right? Because I am we the people know the constitution of crossing and I am the judge sitting in progenitor's or the progenitor's seat. From we, we, Adam. We, the Adam. Yes, we're going to get to that. So so I want to connect this, that the root of salvage is soul, S-O-L in etymology, and it means whole and well kept. Well, we well, know... that is connected right to the olive. It's connected to the olive, but it's also connected to where we get Kodesh, whole, Holy. healed right. as sound. Yep. You completely circumnavigated yourself. You are the holder, the bearer of the yod, the compass in your hand. You are north, east, south, west again. You are fully encompassed as an admiral would know the sea. He admirably speaks from all degrees, north, east, south, and west. Fully encompassed, and from that position, center is seated because that's where we have situational awareness that can see all degrees of all time, out of time. The central pillar that then has the two radiuses that arc out. Right. So. Koshet and Tabat. So as the founder of the sea is, so is rooted in salvation, and as salvation, I enact the salvage rites of finding myself as a vessel at sea wandering. I found my vessel, and right. I claim title to my vessel, and right. I'm rewarded a person or a life or a vessel for a vessel by their law of exchange, right? Right. So now let me just declare what a uh, save is in, in etymology, a 12th century um, breakdown. And it means uh, to deliver from some danger, rescue from peril, bring to safety, right? To deliver from sin or its consequences, uh, emit to eternal life. This is safe in etymology. Well, we're talking perpetuity, but we right. have to go back to hippocampus here pretty soon because we need to break down what perpetuity is because a noon right. is perpetuity. Right. So save and salvation and enacting the salvage rights is connected to all of this. So now you are life, gain, salvation. Uh, it means from old French, keep safe, protect, redeem, make safe, secure, uh, from Latin safe, from soul, whole well. It's from the 13th uh, century. And it means keep possession of as a quasi preposition from without prejudice. Oh my gosh. Or harm to. So without prejudice or harm to. Oh so my there, gosh. I am made safe as I'm out of harm's way. So I'm with. I am in the position without prejudice, which means any contract less than I'm aware of it and I overstand it by my sovereign sentencing. I am not connected. I am without prejudice. I'm without prejudice. And because I claim I know that. who I am. Because I know who I am. UCC 1-308. So, there, but, but my <laughs> declaration as my waving signature Super, I've already have this documented, but in the resonance of my knowing, I decree it as sound, as whole, as trusted. I am on my own throne, decreeing, declaring sound resonance as it. 
Right. Duh. I don't need to go to anyone yeah. to bring my title and deed. They need to come with me because they're the lesser standing. Right. As a lesser constitution, they would have to present themselves and ask permission to be in my sovereign ground. And they are trespassing. Oh, Unless there's a willingness to humbly come before the throne to ask permission to sovereignly be on my land, they're defined as a trespasser. They are goim. You're out of covenant. You don't know the praise offering. You have not Kodesh Barnua. You have not gone the way of holy wandering. I give you opportunity you now. Haven't transgressed the you haven't law. transgressed the law. I right. give you opportunity to go and do so. Right. I'm generous. In the season, I'm giving you the opportunity to do so. As nobility, right. I am generous. Right. That's my gift because I am the gift. I'm rewarded the gift of finding myself. The title of deed is mine. Oh, so you put the heat on them, the rakam, through loving kindness. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so so we're going to come back to that, but I want, that was a great little segue of going Woo! into that. Right. So again, wow. this is going to be a packed hour and this will probably have a, a B session, raising your dragon because of what's coming in. So now let's go into what this is, because now we need to make this, a, a give it tangibility. We need to be able to grasp this material thing of ethereal concept and now wear it because it's a garment. It's looking exactly so we need to bring tangibility say well he's saying a lot of things but i have no <clears throat> flipping idea of how to incorporate this into my state of being as a governor right knesset right which means i'm in i've gone to the language of i've gone into my own assembly or my own summit a convention and a convention means a meeting or a gathering to enforce a covenant that's what convention means so i'm in summit with myself What's coming in is the meeting of summit or a convention of Hagendal the Gesh. Something is coming in to see where you are in divine meeting so you can come into the constitution of the deep again. Right. Sovereign sentencing. Right. It's coming into fill form. Right. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. So hippocampus. So let's go, <laughs> let's go this way from So again, are you a leaky vessel? Are you a leaky vessel? Have you uh, hippocampus is everything to do with emotional stability, um, fight or flight. You know, we could go into the flight as swift as Zeus, the horseman, because this is all chariot language. If you're here, you're a chariot. You've taken your uh, amygdala, your hippocampus, your thalamus, your locus ceruleus. You've woven the hemispheres Have of the brain. Have you balanced your strong emotion? Have you got equilibrium? Right. And then brought it to the resolve of neutrality. Exactly. Do you speak as a judge because a judge is not half kiltered? He's not one way or the other way. He is gracious and going like balance scales. I give you opportunity Amen. to do what I had to do to enact the salvage rights, to be salvation, to be called savior. What is given to me is given to you. You're going to go have to do the fulfillment of being lost at sea to find yourself as I right. am. Right, found. right. So I'm the founder. Right. And this is what's coming in to see who are the founders that are able to contain the capacity through conception to birth the crown once again. Right. So this is all thrown. Oh my gosh. Meshachach. Yes. That is the Aramaic word that has a cough in the middle of it. The con yes. Fully For conceived. Mashiach. The fully conceived. So we need to get to this. And oil. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. that means have found. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, you're the founder. So this really is really back in. So, so again, really well, no, in. it's a good segue, but yes, I know you're yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, again, I was I was going through my my brain because you keep you keep saying about being lost at sea and finding, and I'm like, there's a big connect here. There's a big connect. Big connect. This is all Mashiach, again, Lula Messiah. as the wave offering. The heart connects to the mind of Christ, the tower of um, of uh, Gadol or Medal. Right. The Magdalene. Right. The feminine spirit is looking for the masculine male to womb phallus. Right. To conceive so it can be birthed in the earth once again. Right. And this is why you're being birthed anew. Anew. <laughs> Noon vav, everything and nothing. To be born again. Amnu El. Oh my God. Kodesh Bar, Bar Nua, Nua, 
which is means I've rendered clear my own sovereign sentencing. I right. clear oil up and down the fish ladder. I go. Right. I go into the deep. I return to origin. Right. Uh, by by returning to the spawning ground, the noon, and then I cycle and I come back down from the experience and then deposit it in me, and then I get to go back up to origin and then come back down to origin. I go back into the nothing, the ether, and then I come back into my material body. I meet right. myself every day as an encounter until the promise is given called the great gift you are now given the reward of inheritance you are now placed on nobility's throne once again i call you headship origin rashit barashit rendered clear as the head and in that you stand as constituted as clear oil as clear oil mashach mashach so, and then if i do something with it mashiach or the son that's right the ministers of the son are coming in so so yeah, <laughs> big big bites, but but, but this but so because I need to get to this language here. So let's talk about hippocampus because hippocampus is the same word for almond's horn. Right. So almond's horn. Let's erase this right yep. here. Here, right here. Just erase yep. that, and then you can put it so people can see, and so they can connect. So uh, it's right coded in etymology. So if you want to put up, yeah. Oopsie. There we go. Caught it. All of mem vavnu, amon. All of, and if I remember. Wave, 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 with a leg like a noon. Uh, leg, little hip, there's like a hook on there too. And then noon. Bav noon. Bav is a slanted. Or this. Yeah, okay. And then noon is a fish hook. Uh, yeah, like that's good enough. That's, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know those letters as well, but I know these ones very well. Just so I have both of them on there. Yeah, okay. So that's a mark. So there so and that word means so now we have sovereign nation in here. Right. Exactly. Sovereign nation is now connected to lineage or the progenitor. Right. So now so this is very powerful right here. In you is a sovereign nation. You have to connect or or you're gonna or it's it's expanse. It's the expanse. So in you a sovereign nation is the expanse of progeny or perpetuity is in you. You have to draw this out. Right. But that's directly connected to the hippocampus. And so it's the left and right, the mother and the father, learning how to weave or navigate through emotionally being centered. Because we can still do that right now. But am I right-brained or left-brained? Or am I realized as both brains are simply an opportunity to cross over so I can experience both sides of myself and bring them into center as a result? So again, the laws, logic and the emotional or creative side are now unified. The logistics of emotions. That's so good. Yeah. 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 And so I'm building myself through logistics. I'm <coughs> building myself through assembly. And so the two can be wed as one, no longer separated. That's the Christ minded. Interesting that my test came out yesterday that they were balanced as zero. Absolutely. <laughs> so you would know this word. You could probably define this without, you know, without any, because this is one of the first words that we looked at when we started this journey. Very so, powerful. So Amon means to confirm, to support. Right. Right. And it means to foster. Mm hmm. Um, as a parent or a nurse, mm -hmm. it means to be firm and faithful, mm -hmm. to trust and believe. Mm, good word, to trust. I know. So if we're in Kardash Barnua, and this is the language. And to go to the right hand. To go to the right hand, right. So to go to the right hand is the way of ascension. You must lift the mast up. Right. Chabal. Right. Because that's the pilot. Or, right. Or the bond of the of knowing the ropes. Right. You've bound yourself in a to, and you've pledged yourself to raise the mast. But that's also the stays that hold the mast in place. Right. The right and the left stays right. hold the mast center. The central pillar. The central pillar. Right. Okay. So that language is called permanent and trust. Again, Kardash Barnilla is where they were given the opportunity to trust, but they failed. Well, yes. In the narrative. For the sake of experience. I'm only talking about the narrative. I, I do not know because I wasn't there, at least that, that I know of. I forgot. But again, <laughs> if I'm remembered, because what's coming in is the remembering. Right. If I'm remembered, I'm no longer re. I'm now called membered, which is called body, <laughs> which is where we get the word Knesset from again. I am constituted as a legal government. I am parliament. I am a house, which means I am the body. I am the temple now. I am filled. <clears throat> right. right. So. So turn to the right, absolutely. So now we have this language. Um, Amon means, again, did I ever say that means master workman? 
No, that was one area we didn't bring forward. Okay, so a mod in the first definition, this is a master workman, which we would equate that as um, Adonai, as um, Baal, as because that's all master, 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 only right. a master. Right. The object, I object. Or in an Aramaic, we're talking about Mari or Mara. Right. What do you need? Again, remember my drawing of the olive? <laughs> right. This right here is the shadow that's cast right. in my raising. Right. That is subject. This is the raising. So this would be the 2D docket. When I raise myself, I'm now the 3D plus. But now if I, I become object, because I've set my sights on myself and I pull myself out of myself and now I'm the object. Well, that definition is a master. I'm a master over myself. This is the servant that serves the master. I'm salvation. I'm lost at sea, but my master found and saved me. By drawing myself out, I am now arisen. As Yeshua arose, right. so am I called Qumran. I am the rose. <sighs> and so now I'm object, but now I fulfill because I've chased myself. Out of me, the bet, I built Abba. I built. That means manifestation. Oh, my God. Yeah. The desire. Oh, yeah, but look at, look at, look at, look at. This is the same shape mm -hmm. as the ancient Aleph. It's got a Yod instead of a Vav. Oh, yeah. So you're going to hunt and chase, chase and do your work. To, and when you do your work, you're drawn right through. You just did the mirror of the olive. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Oh, my gosh. That's so amazing. So let's erase this right now because that's getting confusing. <laughs> I need to keep on whistling. But that's really good. Yeah. So that's the hunt to chase the desire. And that's another another one for a fish hook mm -hmm. to hook. Mm -hmm. Hunt, chase and desire. You're going to have to do work to find the Vav to connect you back to the Allah. It is pointing in a different it's a direction, mirror. but it, it's, a, but mirror. it's a mirror. Yeah, but this is actually pointing to to right. Absolutely. Exactly. Right. And so the Allah just pointed to the left. Um, okay, so but let's, so let's, yes. Okay. <laughs> I know it's a wild ride when you have me sitting shotgun. I get it. <laughs> so the language of of uh, put it back up there please and then we'll just i gotta i gotta get to this point here okay. so what all of ma'am vav noon master workman this is a quadrated one this is all quadrants and i could simply draw it as a circle with you can just draw it in the hebrew just keep it in the hebrew for, for simple purposes we're not gonna have time to otherwise it fills up the board too quick all of ma'am vav noon okay done um so this language of master workman has got everything of conclusion in it to say that because there is again sovereign nation right which means source origin right um progenitor really in the vibration because that's the <laughs> language of a womb too but um it's it's everything of matrix you are the matrix now you're more of an architect you become the architect and that would be um through the ayin ma'am a people or right. assembly now has fulfilled this so this is master you've mastered yourself so this is again this is amen Right. Almond's horn it's, right. it's in you um what i love in this that this is where we get the same word is where we get the word amon ra this is where we get the egyptian god from right but egyptian was an egyptian it would have been Kemet. Kemet means kum mem tov which is where we get the word to stand Kemet, right or the and dark, fertile dark soil dark soil right. so now you're the dark soil <laughs> or you're the fertile ones you're the new planting you, a seed you've now planted a seed and out of you came Kemet. The fertile has now produced lineages line is that you've now produced the rising of absolute that's what the raw means so you are now headship restored rashid the ancient fire is in you as absolute yeah right and the word again for dragon if you go into etymology means to see as brilliantly as eyes burning so there's dragon in etymology right so again tanin the covenant of promise or lineages line through Kardash Barnea of being a goim back to the language of being Yehudim is now the praise offering of you are now a tidal wave. You are now through the deed called title and in your wave offering, you now see as Ra. So as a goim and just you're gathering and some assembling the sea is what you're doing. You're just a Gimel -im. holy you're, wandering. Right. So the other part of it is a gur. 
Okay. You're a soldier. A soldier. So you you came down in your poor and destitute state. You're meant to go up and raise your head. This is very important because and gather the seed. Most most, and I'm only very respectful here, but most people that live in the land of Israel call themselves the the, the titled people or the promised people. Unless you fulfilled the job description, you are a wanderer. Right. There is no title given you are still doing unless it. you have fulfilled the deed. You are still wandering the desert. You're still, and so everyone is given the opportunity to wholly rise as matured in the in the weaning and the ripening to come into headship's reward. Right, gathering and assembling first fruits. Everyone is qualified. Everyone. Everyone is qualified. If. No, only disqualification only happens if you choose disqualification. Right. Right. So this is what's happening right now. So based on your perception. Based on your perception. Yep. Absolutely. So this word is really interesting because there's only the first occurrence of this word for the Egyptian God is in uh, Nahum. Uh, Nahum. It's actually it's it's a it's Nun, uh, yeah, it's, it's got a, it's got Nahum yeah. um, in three eight. And I find this very interesting because in that vibration, um let me find it real quick right here because it's a powerful little um where did i put it maybe i'm not gonna do it i don't know where it is um anyways it talks about the first word is the song of inheritance and it talks about um um where we get the vibration of progeny or the horse from because it's talking about the mooses again because it means you're you become music nahum brought the revelation of Nineveh in, in, in Nahum 1 1, he brought the song to Nineveh. Noon, Vav, Noon. Vav, hey. Oh my gosh. What's happening right now? Oh, this is what we were discussing. Yes. About the Vav, hey. The Vav, hey. Wow. So, so what's up? And so this right here, this is something that's coming in as ferocious. They gave it the name, the lion's roar. Um, so what's coming in as the lion's roar? Nineveh is the progeny. And again, it can be seen if we haven't done the yod Can you just put down yod vav This is supposed to be that. Yeah. yeah. Keep it yod vav We were always supposed to fulfill the deed of right. divine inspiration to become the title of divine inspiration. Right. This is the whelp to the roar, right? This is the holy wandering that produces the title. So that kind of a language. The work that you have to do. So this vav hey, vav hey. So what's coming in this vav hey, Nineveh? Just like in Jonah, which is the dove came in to to, uh, to warn Nineveh. What's coming in right now is, this is, this is prognostication. This is prophecy. Um, You're fine. Keep talking. Nahum, Nahum came in to warn Nineveh as well. Again. Something's coming in. Prepare. Right. Prepare yourself for what's coming in. Prepare. Do your work. Do your work. Do the deed of the hand right. to fulfill the title. Right. The right and the left hand. And right. so what's coming in now is the progenitor or a frequency of a roar is coming in to fulfill the judge magistrate's position. For some, it's going to seem unsettling because they're not going to be able to equate it because they don't. How can you equate the title if you don't know the deed? Right. But for those that have fulfilled the deed, they're going to equate the title. And so this is what's coming in. And so this is directly connected to trustworthy, um, to Kemet of the sovereign stand of Kum Aleph Tav, Kemet. Kum Aleph Mem Aleph Tav, Kemet. You are now standing as the Aleph Tav. You are now fertile as progeny. Out of as your... the first and the last, the beginning and the end. There you go. That's what's coming in. So, um, yeah, so I just need to leave it at that. I just wanted to get to that, that that's the roaring line, that what's coming in. This which, and I wasn't going to share this, but but the Spirit says <laughs> you need to share Nahum again. And Nahum, Nahum means comforted. Now, we've shared this before that we've asked people, what is it that you'd want from this language? I want comfort. Well, comfort is two words. It means to come around and meet yourself for the purpose of fortification. That's what comfort means. So Nahum had come around to join himself, Levi, Levi, Atom. He was most likely a prophet already joined to himself. All the judges were Tov Nuns, all of them. 
They had, Absolutely. They had to be yeah. whales or, or dragons <clears throat> in the earth that were sitting in the place of neutrality, bringing the resolve of the ancient prophets, the song of Moshe, the song of drawing yourself out, the song of the whale, that's what they were singing, the song of Tanin, the song of Leviathan, join to yourself, encounter yourself, assemble yourself as God in the earth once again, so you can be drawn up through Kardash Barnua into the place, from the place of holy wandering, into Kodesh Kodeshim, the Holy of Holies, in you the sanctum of sacred once again, right? Um, the language of light, the language of transaction, the language of begetting to become as being Haya. Eye. Eye, right? Um, so Nahum <coughs> was comfort, which means Nuwak is right, so rest. He was already in the rested place, Nun had. He was already in the rested place of being the sovereign sea and this vibration that's already there. He was already established and he was warning them, prepare, prepare. I'm sharing this right now. Prepare, prepare. Something's coming in. It's been coming in for a while. I believe we're about to see the resolve of your constitution face to face with how and what you have done to assemble, to assimilate into the similitude of whatever it is to you. I know what it is to me. I'm sharing from my position through my deposition. I'm no longer in deposition. I'm now speaking from my position of resolve, right? That's right. As salvation, I have saved myself. I am savior. And, and again, if you can hear that correctly, it's going to be, oh my God, this is an inside job of self-discovery through excavation of going into out to the sea of humanity i become vessel called discovery and it translates into vessel called victory amen salvation right 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 same vibration exactly so now let's get to horn <laughs> almonds so that's master that's nahum be prepared because and again remember that nineveh nahum wore nineveh nineveh was the capital city of Damascus. Damascus. Damascus means blood, blood vessel. vessel. So I, as the blood vessel, have prepared myself as Nineveh, as my capital now, by my walking of integration through my feet. I am Damascus. That means I am the sackcloth journeying. I'm a blood vessel that has accumulated through the resonance of my heart. I found my mind again as fulfilled, as mindful. I'm no longer in vain imagination. I am now Dom, right? Absolutely. Dom Ascus. I am the blood vessel that has pulled silk of myself. Um, uh, Sheen Kuf, right? And so Damascus means in your blood there is silk. If you pull it long enough, you'll find a garment. And in that garment, I call you Nineveh. I now call you progenitor. Because then your garments are fit for an empress. Right. So a lot in the Silken vibration. Garments. I'm moving quick for a reason, but... Um, well, yeah, so, I only want to add yeah, one yeah, thing. Yeah. Only add one thing yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're talking about Nineveh, Nineveh here, and you're talking about the vav He is coming in, as in the yod He vav He, mm -hmm. making it complete, mm -hmm. then if it's in the in its completed state of being, and we've been speaking of Eye, yeah. all of He yod He, this then changes this back. Adam, yeah. One blood. One blood. Absolute. Absolute. Absolute blood. Absolute Meaning. reciprocity. You are now the sea. So you are establishing yourself once again as not being lost. Right. You have now been found. You have sovereign authority right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Unification. Achad. Gosh, I got so much to do here. Um, so let's quickly do this. So yeah. horn, um, the word for horn, there's a couple different things, but we're going to go with this one. It's what the spirit led me to, and it's a word for shofar. Uh, Sheen vav pei resh. Sheen vav pei resh. It's the, it's the, the horn that we blow. But, yeah. so, but it's from 8, 2, 3, 1, and it means to be beautiful. So it's just from the root of sheen pei resh. There's the root of it. Um, interesting. So this, this is the word of shofar. So almond's horn. And this that we this means horn, but it means the beautiful horn of the hippocampus, almond's horn, and so hippocampus is where we get the word Pegasus from, right? Or or the water horse or the dragon, so we can tie it all together, right? Because right. why right. are we talking about noon again? Right. Because it means the water horse or the sea serpent 
or you know the language of uh, sea monster, whatever, but it's, it's directly connected to this. Well, there's only one occurrence of this word, and um, it it's connected to uh, Psalm 16:6, and it simply says this: the first word is habal. Well, of course it is the master, right? So het bet lamed. Mm -hmm. So life has built the teacher. Which means, and Habal, we've already shared that because that's the mass that's arisen out of the olive. The mass or the master is now the pilot or the helmsman, which is master in, in Hebrew. Because they've moved out of destruction. They are now the Dharma because the helm, the, the pilot is the Dharma. So the now wheel. you're the wheel. Right. Um, and in that vibration, it's the <laughs> same word for a pledge or a sacred oath. You've right. made a sacred pledge through your constitution right. or through your assembly. You've made the pledge. And it means you know the ropes. You bound yourself by your own ropes. You've drawn yourself out of yourself as a salvage, as a salvage right. You are a savior by drawing yourself out. That's what a master would do. He saved himself, pulled himself out of the 2D into the higher dimension to connect. So that's the first word in that word. Chabal. It means the pledge, the plot, the ropes, um, accepted, sacred. The next word is fallen, but it's the word for accepted. You've now been pledged and accepted. It's a very small verse. You've now been ex accepted as the lament. The power of the teacher is now given to you. You are now called the delighted, the sweet, and the lovely. You now speak as the olive pay, the absolute mouth that is connected to the horn. And this word right here means to glisten. So you've been given the glistening horn as above or upon you. That's how it ends. The glistening horn is upon you. You will now speak as the inheritance. So yes, you're given the speech of inheritance in there. The possession is now in you. This is a lovely verse. If you want to know that verse again, Psalm 16, 6. So now the fire of inculcation is the mouth of the risen head. or Because the heart speaks. The heart, the head, the heart, the mouth. is. Like, you cannot speak this without and having the head and the heart connected. This is connected to fruit. Absolutely. So they speak from the fruit that they found within. So in other words, part of your part of what you're carrying in your vessel, you're full of fruit. You're full of fruit. Uh, you're, you're Manasa. Ephraim and Manasa. You're no longer forgetting. You are remembered as the doubly fruitful. By being the double fruitful because the right. brothers are wound as one. So um, Ephraim is being double fruitful, has assisted his brother because I am my brother's keeper. And in that measure, I'm no longer forgetting because I'm remembered. So I can take my bandages off. Effer. Effer. Right. Because I've healed. I'm healed. The, the, head, wound, the head wound, which is the forgetting. That's what's coming in. And so we're almost out of time here. But what's coming in as the, the vibration of the lion's roar is called the great remembrance. You are no longer, or you will remember. I don't know what it's going to be incrementally. Um, not all are going to remember all as absolute. Right. Um, it'll be partial, but there are those in the earth that will be remembering everything as the Akashic records. They will be remembering beginning to end because they are fully encompassed from beginning to end and they right. are enthroned. Well, so, that Akashic records, again, starts the root with a bet. You have to build it. Again. The Akash. To um, find it and build it. If I'm the object and my bets point to the absolute and the whisper of the abs abs absolute behind me as the master, he's whispering in my ear saying, go that way. Then I become Abba. Right. I am one who is built one. Right. I am one to one. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So obviously, we're not going to have time to get into this, but this whole vibration of the horn and the hoof is kicking open Mount Hippocrene that the fountain of youth is about to be seen as the ancient of days in the earth once again. So the measure of Kadmon, Adam Kadmon, is coming in as the measure of antiquity will be seen speaking as the fountain of youth once again in the earth. As being the sun rising from the east. They will be seen as a roar, as a lion, as a dragon, as the Zusim, as the horsemen, as the judge magistrates, as the council, as the kings and as the queens, as the priestly, as the government, as the Knesset, as the, as the full representation of Malkuta as the kingdom in earth once again. This is the absolute rule and reign of right standing as fully constituted. I don't know how to say it any cleaner than that without going into confusion of many things, but this is raising your dragon. That's what's coming in. And again, raising your dragon is simply 
pulling out a constitution of lineages from line with from in you. In you is an inheritance. It's tethered to dimensionally nothing, which is just out of time. And we are to find it as no longer lost at sea to claim all salvage rights as Savior, as salvation, as Yeshua, as the second coming once again. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Halifah.